Hello everyone, I am Aishwarya and you are watching Aishwarya Academy. In our last video, we learnt about speed of waves in a stretch string and its modes of vibrations. And today, we learn about less choice figures, that is, combination of two mutual perpendicular simple harmonic vibrations. Here we have the condition of equal frequencies. Let us consider the case when two simple harmonic motions have the same frequency, one acting along the x-axis and the other one along the y-axis. Let the two vibrations are represented by x equals to a sin omega t plus phi. Let this be our first equation and y equals to b sin omega t. Let this be our second equation where a and b are the amplitudes of x and y respectively. The x motion is ahead of y motion by angle phi. The phase difference between two vibrations is phi. The equation of resultant vibration can be obtained by eliminating t between equation 1 and 2. From equation 2, sin omega t equals to y by b. We know that cos omega t equals to root over 1 minus sin square omega t. Therefore, substituting the value of sin square omega t, we get cos omega t equals to root over 1 minus y square by b square. Expanding equation 1, we get x by a equals to sin omega t into cos phi plus cos omega t into sin phi. Substituting the value of sin omega t and cos omega t, we get x by a equals to y by b into cos phi plus root over 1 minus y square by b square into sin phi. Which implies x by a minus y by b into cos phi equals to root over 1 minus y square by b square into sin phi. Squaring on both sides, that is, x by a minus y by b cos phi whole square equals to root over 1 minus y square by b square into sin phi whole square. We get x square by a square plus y square by b square into cos square phi minus 2xy by ab into cos phi equals to sin square phi minus y square by b square into sin square phi. If we take this term to the left hand side, then we get x square by a square plus y square by b square into cos square phi plus sin square phi minus 2xy by ab into cos phi equals to sin square phi. Here, cos square phi plus sin square phi equals to 1 which is our standard formula. So, this term becomes 1 which implies x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 2xy by ab into cos phi equals to sin square phi. This is our third equation. This represents an equation for oblique ellipse, which is the resultant path of the particle. Hence, we consider the following important cases. Case 1, when phi equals to 0, that is, when two vibrations are in same phase, we get sin 0 equals to 0 and cos 0 equals to 1. In this case, equation 3 becomes x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 2xy by ab equals to 0. This equation is similar to the expansion of x by a minus y by b whole square equals to 0. This can also be written as plus or minus y equals to plus or minus b by a into x. This represents two coincident straight line passing through origin and inclined to x axis at an angle phi. Case 2 when phi equals to pi by 4. We have sin phi equals to 1 by root 2 and cos phi equals to 1 by root 2. Substituting these values in equation 3, we get x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 2xy by ab into 1 by root 2 equals to 1 by root 2. This represents an oblique ellipse. Case 3, when phi equals to pi by 2, we have sin phi equals to 1 and cos phi equals to 0. Substituting these values, we get equation 3 as x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1. This resultant path is an ellipse whose major axis coincides with the coordinate axis. If a equals to b, that is if the amplitudes of x and y are equal, then we get x square plus y square equals to a square. The resultant path is a circle with radius a. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please click on the thumbs up button. Do comment, do share and don't forget to subscribe as I will be posting more new videos so that you will get notified.